is going on everyone and welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you didn't mind really quick, I'm still not used to the echo in this room. If you didn't mind really quick uh, hitting a like on this video, possibly subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, kind of getting close to another benchmark. Um, I like to celebrate the, uh, the 500 marks. And I, I just, I'm a little taken back that I, I, I can't believe so many people like and watch this uh, channel and are, are willing to subscribe and, and help a brother out, if you will. Uh, <laughs> so I just, I thought I'd say that. Anyway, uh, the lighting still, I can't wait to get it back out to the barn. I just, I know it's a barn. I know there's nothing fancy about it. I know it's, you know, the board and this flag and, you know, there's nothing crazy about it, but I feel more my element out there and I'm just... Let's get through the winter and get to some warm weather to where I can tolerate the temperature out there and I'll get back out to where I belong. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd take on this topic today. I don't want to say it's controversial because it's not. And one might wonder how can I talk about a tire I haven't run. Well, I just... Everybody's got an opinion on it. I have an opinion on it. I thought maybe you'd like to hear that opinion on it. Maybe you have an opinion on it and you were going to put that down in the comments for me to read and we can discuss afterwards. Okay, uh, HBM, H I believe that's it, HBM, HBM Reaper Tire. Uh, ooh, the big, <laughs> big st the new guy on the, on, the, uh, on the circuit type of deal and why so much hate. Um, I have some thoughts on this. First off, people hate change. Uh, they really, they know their products, they know what to do with their products, they know how to go fast with their products, and they don't like something coming in that they don't know how to work to get max speed out of. That's, that's number one. Because we know it isn't the cost. Because I think what Reaper is doing with the cost is fantastic. Now, one might argue that is on that side that is on the Maxis Burris Vega Hoosier uh, side of things. They say, well, it's a cheaper tire. You know, it's not as good of a tire. Therefore, it doesn't cost as much. Is it? Has it been a long, around long enough to prove itself that it is an inferior tire? I know, you know, the, the first bunch that I, I had heard, and this is all, that's just it. I've never run them, so this is all hearsay, and so-and-so said this, and so-and-so said that about them, that there was an issue with the sidewalls. Well, uh, apparently they corrected the sidewalls. I've also heard that on some of the, the you know, these Maxxis-type tracks, that the, the Reaper have tur occasionally turned a faster lap time. Well, you know, we're, we're starting to, you're starting to be able to throw things out. Now, your Maxxis guy is probably going to, he's not going to hate on the cost because I don't think there's a way that you can hate on a lower price tire. You know, if it, if it is up to the same standards as what you're running. But your advantage with the Maxxis, the, the people down south that know I get a brand new set of Maxxis, I cut them to whatever depth, I go and I, and I scuff them and then I set them aside with whatever CCs on the inside and then they cure and then we, you know, you have a constant rotation of tires to where this new brand comes in, and at least from what they say, what Reaper's saying is that they don't accept prep as well as say a Maxxis. So it's it's taking this this internal prepping, cutting, aging aspect out of it. Maybe now I say maybe because once. They have been around this this new iteration of the tire. Once it's been around, your tire gurus, your people that are really good and good at, uh, that are good at tires, are going to find what internal works great on them. They're going to find externally what works great on them because they are still rubber. They're, they, they, this isn't some new compound that nobody's ever heard of. I'm sure that if you know Maxis or Burris or Vega or whatever wanted to figure out what type of compound that was, they could emulate it or or something there, you know, thereabouts. But give the tire time, and if the, you know that's just it. If if Reaper as a company is willing to put their money where their mouth is, they're willing to put money up for big races, sponsor big races, trying to get in uh, WK. I don't know if that ever, I, I don't know if that fell apart. I guess I haven't heard anything about it. I thought it was the tire that was replacing uh, Maxxis for the WKA. Uh, 
that, that may fall apart. I, I never heard anything about it, you know, he, he, neither here nor there. But if they're willing to put their tire out there and they're willing to put up money and, you know, hey, it's a cheaper tire, you don't have to age it like you do a Maxxis. You don't have to do these types of things to it and just, tight, you know, run it type of thing. I don't see the big deal. This is me. This is the you know. This is coming from somebody who hasn't run them, and you know maybe maybe I'm off base. Maybe there are people that run them that the, the days of the Unili, and I heard all about the Unilis. I bought some Unilis. I ran them one time. Did not appreciate them at all, and just bought them used. My own fault. The thing. But I also ran Kings before they were Maury's Kings, and I won a UAS race on the softer compound of Kings. So. I'm here as a, as a person that has, yes, I haven't run the Reaper, but I have run tires that were attempting to do what Reaper is attempting to do now and get a foothold in the karting industry. Um, you know, up here, up north, I know they're, they're trying to branch out. They, you know, they've gotten into, you know, a Reaper National at Hunterstown, PA. Um, they've gotten up in New York now with uh, Champion Speedway being the, the clone class tire, which the dirty tire rule, I did a video about it. I think that's a really good idea. I, You can't hate on them for what they're attempting to do, which is become established and become, you know, get you to trust, hey, we developed a good tire here. Now, I've, <laughs> you know, you could say, hey man, you're you're really, you know, are, are you a shell? Are you being paid by Reaper? I I don't know the guy's a Reaper. Never talked to him. Don't own a Reaper. You know, this is, this is just my mind working. Like, I'm all for getting more people into the sport. And if you ask a lot of people, what is wrong with the, you know, our karting now? Tires are freaking out of out of bounds, man. You know, 220, 230, 240 for a set of tires now. Uh, mind you, they're good tires. They're fast. Don't get me wrong. The major brands, you know, the price, every, inflation's up. Okay, get it. Everything's got to go up. But that price is is really not it may not be the entire bane of what's hurting our industry because it's the economy stupid you know that's if people don't have extra money they're not going to spend on things like racing carts but the simple fact that those those brands being more expensive is harder to do and especially with a tire such like a maxis i'm not tearing on maxis maxis is a fast freaking tire man I've raced them, you know, I'm not as good as the Southerners, I'm not as good as the Tire Gurus, but they are a super fast tire if you get them right. It's trying to get them right and being in that cycle that is a problem for a Northerner like me to go down south and try and run that type of scenario. To whereas, from what they say, from what I've heard so far, that the Reaper doesn't like this type of treatment, it doesn't like the same cycle that a Maxxis will take in order to be fast. If I get some Reapers and I run them up here like a champion, do you think I'm going to be into them? Of course I'm going to be into them. I'm, I'm no fool. You, <laughs> you're either, if, unless there's a no prep rule, guess who's prepping? This guy. This guy. <laughs> and I am not alone in this. So I just thought it'd be some, some fat to chew on. You know, you'd... Word of mouth gets out there. Oh, so and so says that these are you know garbage, and these the the, the sidewalls or the the edges don't hold up, or this and that. Is this true, or are you just regurgitating something that somebody who really prefers Maxis, you know, they don't want to see their advantage go away? You know, they say those things are garbage because they don't want to play with them because they can't do what they do to Maxis to make these as fast and have their advantage. Does it even the playing field? At least a little bit. Cost-wise, we know it does. You can afford, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, what, uh, two sets of them? Is 300 bucks, something like that? So, uh, really? Or, I, mean, I guess it's a little over. I guess, it, you know, it's, was it 165, something like that for a full set of uh, Reapers? I like that cost savings. I liked it when I, when I bought the Kings years ago. I like that cost savings and I ran Kings against a track that took Vega Yellows and I beat people with it. So it is possible to take what some consider an inferior tire and make it work against the big brands. It's just whether or not, you know, I, I assume they're going to be along long enough for this tire to stay and maintain the course. I, I think they've made it further than you Nilly did. Uh, just my opinion. 
uh, they, they seem to be branching out and people are getting a taste of it and not hating what they're feeling. At least that's what I, you know, the, the little bit, I'm not the end all be all and I'm not, I don't have my, you know, my thumb on the pulse of everywhere in carding. But from what I have observed, what I've read, what I've seen, it's not as bad as some people are making it out to be. And I think they deserve a chance at least to help people get into the sport. If they come in and they're seeing $3,500 chassis, if they're seeing a tire bill that is astronomical, that they cannot afford, they aren't going to get into it. Now, I'm not against spending the money to go and race for the money. I am not be against that at all. More power to you if you can afford to do that stuff, if you have sponsors to do that stuff. If you have the means, by all means, do it. And the, the pro level of karting should be the best of the best. But I think that there is something to be said for a tire company coming in, willing to pony up, willing to put money in there, offer their tires, hey, we're running this national, we're, we're, we're offering this payout for this, come run our tires. We can show you that they are as good or they are. we are willing to make them better for you and still keep the cost down. Just my opinion on it. Like I said, I don't own any. I don't even know the guys who make the thing. I just, I have, I've, I've seen all these little kind of jabs here and there. And I just thought I'd offer a different perspective on it. See where you guys were at with it. I know it's probably going to be split. Like everybody, you know, it's going to be, I love Maxis. Don't change a thing. Bring on the Reaper. You know, <laughs> it's, it's going to be those two sides of things. I just thought it'd be a fun video to put out there in a, Hopefully the lighting's all right. This, I probably got my glasses are probably all glary stuff. I really, really, I, as simple as the lighting is in the barn, it just works. It does not work here. I turn all these lights off and I'm dark. I put all the lights on, my glasses shine. And it's just uh, first world problems, I guess. All right, all right guys, <laughs> I really do appreciate you coming by. Thank you very much for all the support. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. All right, later.